Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Sims 4. I am, of course, the Conflict Nerd, and today we're going to be focusing on Jennifer Patino, one of the Patino sisters, the Patino twins, and she wants to be, if I remember correctly, super popular. What is she doing currently, is the question. Uh, going to get food, by the looks of it, or eating food currently. She also really needs to sleep, which is... Yeah, probably, probably worth getting her uh, some sleep at some point. Let's go ahead and just turn off this bloody red, the bloody stereo thing. It's always on. Oh god, okay, they're having a bit of a hug, alright. I mean, you could have a okay, are you still eating? You are, you just, okay, going back to sit down, fair, <laughs> whatever. Uh, remain driver there, getting level 2 in video gaming. I mean, fair enough, what does Gemma need currently? She's actually doing alright. So, uh, I, I think we will just focus, as we're supposed to, we are going to focus on, uh, Jennifer Patino here. Like I said, she wants to be super popular. She wants to get, uh, Charisma level 5, and, uh, talk about clubs with 5 club members. That should actually be quite easy, considering what we can do is talk about the good timers, which I'm hoping... I, I'm, I'm hoping the way this works is I can just talk about the good timers. I, I hope I don't have to talk about five different clubs, is is what I'm thinking. So uh, we will find out. We'll go and have her uh, talk to Chester. Incoming text message uh, from Mila Munch. Hey, I heard you be... Oh, that's, that is from her. Yeah, I heard you became friends with Ramin Driver. He's pretty cool. Um, yeah, sure. All right. Oh, this does totally count. Uh, so talk about clubs with five club members. Well, we can absolutely do that, no problem. Uh, once we have, uh, hold on, is that her bed or is that her? I think this, this must be her bed. Okay, well, go and have a sleep. We can have her talk to some other club members about, uh, well, the good timers once uh, we have another gathering. Okay, Ramin, that's just creepy. You might want to go and, uh, you know, sleep there, buddy. Uh, well, you don't need to sleep, just don't stare at people when they're sleeping, because it's just weird. Uh, it seems that Preston's in a bit of a bad mood, that's because he's tired. We'll have him go to bed as well, because there's no point having him sit up. So have him pop upstairs and go to bed. Okay, can you... Okay, can people stop following other people into their bedroom as they're going to sleep? Because it's really weird, guys. Also, who broke the sink? Ugh, fine, whatever. Uh... Let's have Gemma, I'm going to say repair it, and uh, we'll hope that she can get that done nice and easily. I guess it's useful for someone to have the handiness skill in uh, one degree or other. Whether they're good at it or not doesn't really matter, but uh, having that skill is probably for the best. There's uh, Preston popping down to the bathroom, apparently. While he's there, we'll have him just go ahead and uh, mop up the floor a little bit. Oh, wait, can he not do it? Mop up the floor, buddy. You actually can't do that because the... Really? Okay, what's in the way that's stopping you from mopping the floor? You just... you just can't. Right. Uh, well, that makes things a little bit tricky. So far, this layout for the room has been a bad idea. Uh, what would be the... what would be the way to fix this then? Because I really don't want to just put a bloody square corner on this, uh... On this bathroom. It's so, it would sort of destroy the, uh... The look of it, but it looks like I might not have much of a choice. Which is annoying as hell, honestly, unless I sort of... Put the bathroom elsewhere. I mean, that corner could totally have the bathroom, but that's a bit strange. Uh, it can't really go upstairs. There's absolutely no room for it there. So I guess what I'll have to do is... Just get rid of the bath, put a shower in, and uh, move the toilet. So the toilet can go... Um, there, temporarily. We'll get rid of this. We'll move the toilet and put it... Uh, can't actually put the toilet there. Okay. Well, if we give this a second, shift Control c uh, bb dot move objects. There we go. I can spell. Uh, we'll do that. We'll put the toilet there, where it needs to be. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the toilet roll just there. And we'll put this just above that. Move the painting to... That wall actually works quite nicely, just put it sort of there, though. And then instead of a bath, they can have a shower of some sort. 
Uh, so let's go to plumbing, let's go to showers, and let's go for... Uh, I really don't want to go for the most expensive things. I can afford some, some expensive stuff, but going for the most expensive stuff is probably not a good idea. So we'll go with this, see if we can get it in blue. Answer is we cannot, which is just great. Gotta, gotta love not having the right color uh, for the thing. Uh, this one... I like that one, but I don't like that. I would rather the two uh, sides of it against the wall were were paneled, uh, which they aren't, so it looks a little bit silly. Uh, this one is not the kind of thing I'd want in the house. This one's very bloody expensive. I mean, I guess we can just go with the... Uh, I guess we'll just go with this one again and just find something that sort of matches. I guess that's about as close as we're going to get, isn't it? That's that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like that's sort of there or... We'll go with that one. And I guess we'll hope we can mop up the floor. Can you do it? Yes, you can. Can we use this? Is Okay. I mean, fine. Be that way. Go and take a shower and see if you can use the bloody thing. Uh, yes, you can. Good. Uh, Chester, can you stop putting the... Guitar on the floor, you're supposed to carry that with you, buddy. Uh, also, stop playing it. Stop playing it, put it in your... Okay, just freeze it up then. Uh, put that in your inventory. There we go. So you do you, and uh, how is Jennifer doing? She... I <laughs> realize we haven't spent much of this episode focusing on Jennifer, have we? Uh, she's doing alright. Uh, she is... I mean, it's 7pm. I think we'll get her out of bed so that she can actually go to sleep at, say, like... 11 or 12 later. Uh, get her out of bed and have her pop to the bathroom uh, so we can get that out of the way because she's uh, kind of... Oh, for God's sake. Well, that's... Yeah, she's embarrassed. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, that, that seems fair. She does need a bit of hygiene as well, so let's take a thoughtful shower and see if we can... Uh, oh, for God's sake, that's filthy. All right, that's going to be cleaned in a bit. Oh, Really? Is everyone just going to walk into the, the bathroom while other people are using it? Because that's all I'm bloody seeing. Ay, 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 whatever. Let's, uh, let's get this over with. Let's bring the walls done as well. I've had those up this entire time. Uh, so we'll get that done. We will get the sink cleaned. And, uh, your phone is ringing. What is this? Uh, it's ghost night at the bar. Wanna hang out? Actually, yeah. We'll bring Chester, we'll bring Jennifer, and uh, that should be fine. Wait a minute. Do I need to change the outfit for this club again? Because I don't remember this being the outfit that I picked. What is what is, what is is the current club outfit? Uh, currently, just a color? I picked orange, apparently. Um, I mean, fair. That's, that's, that's fair. Uh, that's still, that's... I don't like these outfits. I am just going to take a second, and I'm actually going to make a custom club outfit, because these are awful. I know I tried it in the last episode, and it failed, but I will succeed this time. There we go. This may look a little bit ridiculous, but I kind of like it, to be honest. Also, I see a ghost that I would like to meet, and uh, we'll have Jennifer meet the ghost, because, well, why not? Uh, let's give a friendly introduction to uh, Jacqueline Bueno, or, well, I guess, possibly Jacqueline I'll go with Jacqueline. It's quite clearly Jacqueline Bueno. Uh, something tells me that she is uh, no bueno currently, but uh, fair enough. She's now a flirty ghost. All right, then. Oh, hello. That's another one. Let's have a friendly introduction to that ghost. This is not weird at all. Wait a minute. I just realized this is our club headquarters. Uh, sure. Well, she seems to be making friends, which is nice. There's another ghost over there. Uh, let's go and, uh, we'll call that ghost over. And, uh, there's another ghost! Oh, they're all here, aren't they? Well, I guess it is ghosts night, isn't it? Who's this? This is, uh, okay, Andre. Uh, looks like a bit of a hipster guy. Alright. Fair enough, let's bring him into the conversation. And, uh, let's see if we can bring you into the conversation. Just a bit. Are uh, you gonna come over? There we go. Alright, she's meeting all the ghosts, which is fantastic. That's certainly going to be interesting some at, uh, at at some point. The hell's up with you? Talk about dreams. Uh, ask about being dead. Okay. That seems lovely. That seems like a great topic of conversation. What's up with you? 
Uh, let's see. Discuss fine cuisine. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're just... Okay, you're jumping in that. Fair enough. What are you off to do? You're off to... Order a drink. That seems like a grand idea. As for Preston, he is asleep in a hedge over there. I mean, fair enough. That seems fair. What the... There's a kid out here. It's it's 11 p.m. and there's a kid walking past a bar. All right. Fair enough. You do you, buddy. Uh, let's see. So, oh, you're awake now? Okay. I mean, you could go and nap in there again if you wanted to. Oh, you can fertilize it. And by fertilize, they mean... Okay. Uh, well, you. I mean, you could do that too. You're a bit sleepy. You don't really need the bathroom, though. Oh, that's you. What are we... What are we oh, Preston has actually gone back to sleep. Fair enough. Fair, fair enough. Uh, here's what we'll do, actually. We're gonna just go ahead and have her, have uh, good old Jennifer, go to clubs and talk about uh, the good timers. And then with this guy, we will also talk about the good timers. That way, we can uh, get the thing done here. Talk about clubs with five club members. Um... Hanging out with Preston Vance is the main reason that I enjoy the good timers. Fair. That seems fair. Uh, that's, uh, I mean, yeah, so that seems fair to me. That's, uh, got more choices, go to clubs, uh, talk about, talk about the upper crusts, why not? Let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the upper crusts, although apparently we, apparently we can't do that. Why can't we do that? I wanna, oh, there's another guy down here. Uh, let's go and... More choices, clubs, talk about Knights of the Hedge. Because that seems like a good idea. So did that count? That did. And we just really need to talk to you about more choice. You're the leader of the Knights of the Hedge. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, I want to talk about the upper crusts. Oh, good, we've done that. Now we just need level five charisma. Fantastic. That uh, makes everything better. And also the club has 347 points. We should probably have a look and see what we can get. Uh, we could get a secret handshake. Uh, we could get some social bonuses, such as bonuses to romance, mischief, uh, friendly. There's also things like the photography boost, the creativity boost. I mean, there, there's a lot of things here. Social boost. That's also useful. Uh, what else have we got here? Angry club vibe. Stronger camaraderie moodlet. Uh, will boost the base happy buff you receive for being in a gathering. Fair enough. Uh, club management. Rally the troops. Okay, I can keep them partying all night long if I want to. Ooh, a club jacket. A club leather jacket. I mean... That could be useful. A club flag, a club rug. I, I kind of want a club leather jacket, to be honest. That seems like a great idea. Turns out the color for these jackets is a very bright pink. So we've got that going for us, which is interesting. And apparently I'm a little bit spooked from seeing a ghost. And uh, this particular ghost uh, seems to be taking water with him everywhere he goes. There's a lot of ghosts in here. There's some ghosts I haven't seen before, too. Uh, though we have seen this one. We have met this one. Let's, uh, let's just, you know, talk to some ghosts, meet some people, uh, and some deceased people. But, you know, ghosts. They're fun, right? Also, that TV is very high up on the wall. And not in a very good place, either. That makes no sense, because if you're here, it's a bit far away, and there's, like... Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I'm gonna just show you. So if you're sat here, you're enjoying a thing, and you wanna watch TV, it's like, oh. Well, okay, that one's fine. If you're sat here, there's a thing in the way. If you're sat here, there's a thing in the way. If you're sat here, you're a thing in the way. Uh, if you're at the bar, there's a thing in the way. That TV is just in a really bad place. Basically, if you're sat here, well, well, hold on, hold on, here, I mean, it's a bit high up. And if you're sat here, you're just breaking your neck. So, that TV is just not a good place. I'm just saying, I mean, it's it's not. It's quite clearly not. Anyway, I think it's a point time we end this club gathering, to be honest. Because all these guys really need to go home. I kind of wanted Jennifer to be... You know, perhaps heading to bed by midnight, and it's approaching 3 a.m. Well, it's the next day, and uh, Jennifer's still asleep, Chester's having a nap, Preston's still asleep. 
Uh, it seems that Gemma is a bit hungry, which is fair enough. We are also, we're also going to need to clean those up. Uh, Ramin is just in the bathroom, so once he's done there, we'll have him uh, do some cleaning, because that seems like a pretty good idea all around. Oh, for God's sake, this is broken now. Okay, well, what we'll do is have Gemma attempt to repair that uh, after some food, and then mop up the floor after some food as well. Or not, she's going to do it immediately. I mean, you you can finish what you're doing and then get to that, but fair enough. You do you, I suppose. You're nearly done. Apparently, the sink's taken a while to fix. That to me, that just looks like something that needs to be tightened a little bit. But okay, uh, that's 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 fine. How are you doing? You're actually pretty good to wake up. I don't want you oversleeping. That's not something you should do. Uh, so you wake up, go use the bathroom, and uh, that food is actually spoiled. So we probably want to just dump that. Uh, we'll have. Uh, We'll have you go and use the bathroom, and then serve brunch is uh, is probably a good idea. So that's going to be eggs and toast is uh, what we'll go for there. We'll serve some eggs and toast. Preston's phone is ringing. Is this another bloody gathering? Oh, no, it's uh, Carrie Knott would like to come over and hang out. Sure, Carrie Knott being uh, an extraterrestrial, uh, interestingly enough. That's fair enough. Uh, I mean, Preston's asleep, Carrie, but, I mean, you can come on in. I suppose. Let's have a friendly introduction between you and Gemma. Uh, there you go. Alright, uh, it seems that Jennifer is in a much better mood now, though, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't know, she didn't actually make the food I told her to make, but, okay, fair enough. Uh, she can do her own thing, I suppose. Uh, once she's at that, though, I want her to head upstairs and start practicing charisma. Because, uh, I want to try and get her to, um, there we go, practice speech. Because I want to get her charisma skill up. We've talked about uh, clubs with five club members. Now we need to uh, get four more levels of charisma, and uh, she'll be good. So, what am I hearing? Bloody music from this thing. Okay, I mean, turn that off, because it's annoying me. Uh, have we got any bills? We do not, which is good. Uh, Gemma has discovered that Carrie Not is an alien. The disguise seemed perfect. Um, I mean, quite cl she's quite clearly an alien. It's it's pretty obvious. Uh, it's kind of kind of obvious. It seems to be you know the. Well, I would say I'd pick out one detail that kind of meant that kind of proves it, but kind of everything, kind of shows the fact that she's an alien. So, uh, well, apparently Gemma didn't catch that. So fair enough. What's Gemma doing at the minute? Oh, she's having a bit of a conf. Okay, uh, she's confident from because uh, she discovered aliens. I feel like she doesn't quite know what it means to discover something. Because that's not... Okay, now Ramin has discovered that Carrie is an alien. Again, not quite discovering. Uh, anyway, what I think I will do is uh, I'm going to have... I mean, next episode, obviously, we're foc focusing on, uh, on, on, on Gemma, and she wants to be a mixologist. So next episode's going to be... Well, we're probably going to want to get a bar of some sort, because uh, practicing mixology without one is going to be a bit of a pain, because we're always going to have to go out. Uh, but what we'll have her do is pop downstairs. Just because, uh, well, Jennifer is uh, practicing uh, charisma. So, we'll have her do this and have, let's uh, discuss weird atmospheric pressure. That seems like a grand idea. Okay, so you two can have a chat and do your thing. Uh, Jennifer is... Doing her thing, which is, you know, it's gone alright. What level is she? She is level uh, two when it comes to charisma, so she's getting there. Okay, she's level three with charisma, which is fair enough, but I think I'm going to sort of cheat a little bit and have a bit of a club gathering here at the house. Because what that means is that as club points rise up, I can eventually get the, uh, little bonus for skills, such as the Charisma one, which is going to be here somewhere. It'd be that one, the Social Boost. Uh, is that Charisma? Would, would that count as Charisma, though? Or is there specifically a Charisma one? There is. Com well, I know, it's Comedy Boost. Okay, maybe it is Social, then. It's, I mean, it seems like it would be. Uh, dancing, homework, creativity. Uh, what's this one? Mental Boost, Social Boost. Uh, it, I mean, 
Social skill, I imagine, is charisma. It seems like it would be. Oh, look at this. Chester, practicing guitar, doing what he's doing. What is he doing? He's uh, jamming just a bit there. He's actually gaining some club points because he's playing an instrument, which is great. So, fair play to Chester. Uh, Gemma, you might want to, or Jennifer, you might want to put on the uh, the club outfit there. That seems like it'd be a good idea. Uh, I mean, or don't. That's, that's fair enough. But, uh... It would probably be a good idea. As for you, Chester, you need to keep that bloody thing in your inventory. Or, uh, I mean, jam for the group. Seems like a good idea. There you go. You do you. Get those club points going. And uh, as for you, Jennifer, why have you stopped? What are your needs currently? Uh, fun is what you really need. Which is fortunately going up pretty bloody quickly. Which is, uh, which is nice. Can we give this to Chester? There we go. Uh, I mean, they're all sat around doing their thing. I think we could, uh, have everyone, I guess, watch a movie with, uh, oh god. What, let's, let's watch, um, uh, Diamonds Are For Sims with everyone, I guess? That seems fair. Let's have them all sit down and watch a movie, because, uh, that seems like a grand idea. On that little screen there, which, there we go. Alright, this is apparently Diamonds Are For Sims. Seems fair. Oh, good lord. Oh, that intro. That's cheesier than the intro for this this series. Good lord. Alright. Fair play, they can do their thing. Uh, she is having a good bit of fun, though. Uh, Chester's falling asleep at the table. Fair. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's serve some dinner. Let's serve uh, fish tacos. It's possibly stop watching Diamonds Are For Sims and uh, go cook food for the uh, the, the group here, because that seems like a pretty reasonable idea. Come on, get it done. You need to call everyone to a meal, need to, uh... Oh, don't burn it. You didn't burn it, good. Let's uh, call to meal. And uh, hopefully, everyone's gonna like it. There's absolutely not going to be enough places for everyone to sit, though, that's for sure. Also, someone pointed out that this table needs uh, an extra chair for everyone in the household. I left off an, a fifth chair just because I imagine they probably won't all eat at the same time. And uh, it's just kind of the style of it, really. I, I like to imagine they bought a table and four chairs because it was a set. And they didn't get a fifth one. If we ever had a fifth one, it'll not match, basically, is, is my thinking. Because that's, again, the style we've gone for here. Man, we're up to 224 club points again. We've, uh, <laughs> it's really easy to get these club points and, uh, perks and stuff like that. Like, I could easily, like, we've got the boost for, uh, I mean, we can only have, we can have one of 30, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Can I have all of the boosts for the club then? Is that, is that a thing I can do? Because if I can, then that's a little bit silly. Uh, not that I'll ever really need the homework one. But, uh, I will say the creativity one would be useful. As well as the uh, the guitar one, which I think I will actually keep uh, saving up for, because I kind of want that one next. Uh, whatever the case, uh, Jennifer here has gone to bed. I'm uh, I'm not quite ready to end this uh, episode yet, though. Not uh, not there yet. We need to get that charisma skill up to level five. Oh, it seems Jennifer's got up to do some channel surfing. Fair enough. I mean, uh, she is still very tired, but fair enough. She can uh, do some channel surfing, I suppose. Uh, have her use the bathroom there. I think we will actually have her just practice uh, the speech again there because we want to get that uh, want to get that skill up definitely. That is that is absolutely a thing that needs to happen. It is also going nice and quickly there though, so I think the uh, the boost that we have is totally active. Also, those points every time Chester plays guitar are ridiculous. Uh, can we have him do that again? That's uh, jam for the group, I suppose. Okay, it's jamming for the group, but I, that wasn't a sign for her to come over and do anything. Go practice the speech again. You do you, and you, you jam for the group, which is good. So that's going up nice and quickly. Uh, she really doesn't want to do that, does she? Okay, well, she can go up and, uh, I guess, practice the speech up there, because I realize the bathroom's not the best place to do that, considering people may need to use the bathroom. So she can do her thing there. She is uh, almost level five. I mean, she's level three and a half, so... That's great. What were you doing with Chester's guitar? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's not your guitar, it's Chester's guitar. Well, we have 400 club points, so we can probably end this gathering and let everyone actually go home. Uh, because they've been here for a while. But at least we can get the 
guitar boost for the club. There we go. Let's uh, go ahead and grab that. That'll be super useful for the next gathering. Uh, Jennifer has actually gone to sleep. I mean, she could go to bed. Uh, she doesn't need to sleep there. She does have a bed, so... Uh, Jennifer, maybe go and, uh, go to sleep. Well, Jennifer's up and having some grilled cheese sandwich, which is always good. Uh, Chester just refuses to carry that guitar with him, which is kind of annoying, but that's, uh, completely fine. Everyone's in a bit of a mood, though. Uh, Jennifer hasn't had a proper night's sleep in a while, which probably isn't helping her. Why is everyone in a mood, though? Uh, uncomfortable from unpleasant surroundings. Oh! Oh, that, that'll be the unpleasant surrounding there. Okay, well, we can easily get rid of that uh, once it's, you know, one, once Jennifer's done uh, eating there. You might want to, might want to go ahead and clean that up, to be honest. That's, uh, that's a little bit filthy. Also, okay, apparently you're doing all of the dishes and then going to mop up the floor. And uh, hopefully that's going to be the end of the unpleasant surroundings. It certainly seems to be. And uh, I guess what you can do now is just go and practice your, sp in fact, you know what? We're going to have another club gathering. We're just, we're just going to stay here and have another club gathering. Because uh, it seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, so she's actually gone back to uh, bed to have a nap. Which is it's fair enough. Uh, I guess what we'll do... Since the uh, the club has decided to turn up again. What have we got here? Uh, yeah, we're friends of Bjorn. That's, yeah, that's the thing we are. Uh, but what I'd like to do is uh, Chester is going to jam for the group. Because we've now got the guitar boost for the club. So that's totally going to make it uh, much easier for him to level up. There we go, level 5. Uh, he is actually doing pretty well with that as well. We'll stop him. Uh, no, put it in your inventory, damn it. There you go. Okay, well, he's done that. We'll have um, we'll have Jennifer go upstairs and practice the speech again because she really needs to get that level 5. I've just realized she has uh, a fair few points here. I could probably get a uh, reward or two with these. Uh, which I actually think it, the best one to get would be the, an instant, some kind of, oh, instantly fill the energy need. That would be useful. Great. Storyteller, gym rat, moodlet solver, observant, speed cleaner, instaline, mentor, uh, morning sim, night oil, speed reader, free services. Uh, I mean, is there one that's going to let me make it, uh, easier for her to just level up things like is is there one of those because it'd be nice uh savant is gain all skills much faster four thousand points i mean we don't i don't think we're going to get that one something tells me we're not going to get that one so let's see let's just go with the sleep replacement because we really need that so we'll just redeem this we'll just get the sleep replacement because why not and uh we'll just go ahead and uh have a drink of the sleep replacement. So stop doing your thing. There's uh Did you did you are you gonna drink it? What are you doing? Popping downstairs. Oh so that's your sleep replacement. That does not look that does not look normal. This is, is what that looks. So though you're doing pretty good now and someone broke the bloody sink again. Just replace it. I really cannot be bothered. Uh, dealing with that, go and take a thoughtful shower, and then pop upstairs and continue with the practice pickup lines. No, 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 no. Practice uh, speech. That's what you want to do. Practice your speech. Well, this is taking its sweet time, but we are absolutely nearly there, which is uh, fantastic. So we just pop out of this. We can see that it is uh, super close to level five there. The good old charisma skill. Oh, come on, any second now and we can end this bloody club gathering. There we go. Beautiful. We earned a thousand club points already for that one. And lead a club with eight sims. Oh. That one's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, because Preston is currently currently uh, leading this club. Though I guess he could make her the leader. I, I mean, I, I guess that's a thing he could do. Uh, clubs uh, resign from club... Uh, no, 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 no. Club gatherings, rally the troops, talk about the good timers. Uh, how do I get Preston to not be the leader is the question. Uh, settings, Preston. I want to make someone else the leader. But I don't want to resign as the leader. How does that work? This is where things... This is where things get tricky, isn't it? Uh, so can you get like 
Preston to step down as leader? Okay, we're gonna talk to Preston and see if he will step down as the leader of the Good Timers. Let's see, come on Preston. You know you gotta do it, buddy. You gotta do it. You gonna do it? It's up to you. He did! Okay, Jennifer is, uh... Is, uh, is not the leader of the Good Timers. Alright. Now all we need is an eighth member and we're looking good, but we can't get an eighth member for a little while, can we? We need to, uh... Upgrade the capacity with 500 club points. Okay, we'll do this, and then I think we're probably good for this episode. We've been at this for a little while now, and stop breaking the sinks. For God's sake, guys. Well, we have the points. Let's just increase the capacity of the club to eight sims. And uh, I guess we can invite someone. We're going to invite uh, Gemma into the club, and you're about to see why. You may have already spotted it. Oh! Okay, um... Interesting. Very interesting. It seems that... Yeah, so... Jennifer's just completed her aspiration. That was uh, quicker than I thought it would be. We can select a new one uh, to do with popularity, which she can be friend of the world. She can be a joke star, a party animal. Uh, introduce self to ten sims of three friends. Uh, what, what does friend of the world have? Introduce self to ten sims of three friends. Meet someone new in three different locations. Achieve level four charisma. Done that. Twelve friends, level six charisma, and twenty friends make a BFF and achieve level ten charisma. Uh, well, she's not super popular, so I mean, I don't know what we'll go for there. I guess we'll let uh, all of you guys in the comments select a new aspiration for. Uh, Jennifer, because that was a lot quicker and easier than I thought it would be. It is a little bit easy to manipulate things like that, though, thanks to the clubs. But uh, the reason I'm happy to bring Gemma into it is because I've actually set it as a good thing for the club if people mix drinks. So we can go to the club hangout next episode with uh, Gemma and uh, everyone involved. And uh, we can totally go ahead and uh, basically just mix drinks and turn Gemma into a mixologist. Uh, I, I do think everything's going to be a little bit e uh, more difficult with the other Sims, though, because, I mean, Jennifer just wanted to be popular. Uh, Chester wants to be a musician, uh, Preston wants to be rich, Gemma wants to be a mixologist, but, I mean, I kind of want it to be a fairly... I wanted to be a good mixologist and kind of maybe do that as, like, a way to make money. I don't know if that's a thing you can do. But uh, then we have uh, Ramin also wants to be... A musician. Can you stop singing? It's really distracting. And why do you have that guitar? Seriously. Uh, whatever the case, let's uh, end the gathering there. Go and uh, grab that guitar, please, Chester, and stop other people from playing it, because it's annoying the hell out of me. And uh, with that in mind, folks, that's going to be it for today. So, thank you kindly for watching. This has been The Sims 4. Next episode, we're going to be dealing with Gemma, and uh, then we're going to be dealing with Romaine. And then uh, after that, on uh, at the end of Ramin's episode, it's going to be going out to you to uh, vote and pick which sim we're going to focus on and uh, spend a few episodes with it. It'll, it'll either be three or five episodes. Uh, I did say five originally, but it'll, be, it'll be, maybe be three. We'll see. But uh, for now, we don't need to worry about voting on that just yet. Uh, you do need to pick a new aspiration for Gemma. Or Jennifer, though, so uh, go ahead and do that, and uh, I shall see you next time. Bye-bye!